It's a, it's a shot maker's course. If you got a good short game, you can score here. There rests a little jewel in the heart of Cincinnati, a gathering place for men and women who share a passion, a home to shouts of victory and curses after a failed effort. Welcome to Avon Fields. Avon Field Golf Course, which may have been pronounced Avon back in the early days as a country club for Cincinnati's upper crust, has reached the grand milestone of 100 years. And for 100 years, it has served us and humbled us with its abundance of trees, hills and vales, and teeny tiny greens. History indicates that Avon was designed by legendary course builder Donald Ross, who built Pinehurst, Oak Hills, Seminole, and even our own Makatiwa right up Reading Road. Avon is listed among his courses. Still, others say it was built by the Spaldings, who shared a passion for all sporting endeavors. Then you have three par threes on each side, a quarter six par threes, three on the front, three on the back, no par fives. Uh, you have some difficult par fours. Originally built as a country club, the city of Cincinnati bought the club from private interests in 1928. The well healed, now finding their game up at Makatiwa. Uh, you can go to the top of the clubhouse, and we have seats up there where you can sit and look all over, all the way up toward Tri County. It remains a city owned public resource to this day. Avon has changed a bit over the years. When they built the Norwood Lateral in uh, 71, they took dirt from there to fill the golf course in, took away some of the hills, changed the course around. Number 10, that used to be number one, is over here to my right, which is tee off of Matt over here, and you had hills that go up and down. Those hills are gone now. Number nine over here used to be number 18. There wasn't no driving range there in 1970 or 69 or 68. There used to be more trees, a lot deeper, a lot harder golf course. Par used to be par 69. Now switching the nines is technically not that big a deal. But as you stand in front of the clubhouse, how much more fitting it must have been to tee off from the fine vista that is now the number 10 tee box and how fine it would be coming up the 18th fairway and finishing at the clubhouse, as the designer intended, whoever it was. Avonfield Golf Course features a diverse community of golfers of all ages and sizes. It's home to several leagues, a lot full on any given afternoon. We have leagues like um, the 44 Club that's been playing here for a long time, the St. Bernard Eagles, the Norwood Men. Between my office and my home out in Westchester from uh, downtown, I would ride by at least three to four golf courses to come out here and play. Because of the character of the golf course, the the way it's set up, and uh, most importantly is the people that are in the atmosphere this year. It's been home to the Woodward High School golf team and used by Xavier and UC upon occasion. It's also the home base for Reaching Out for Kids, a nonprofit organization that does just what the name says, reaching out and teaching kids about golf, education, and life. The program reaches hundreds of local youth each year, providing much needed school supplies, the occasional meal, and of course, the experience of golf. The neat thing about all that is the number of kids that come here on the weekends. They find it a safe haven to get away from things they see in the street. And you get away from between two to four, some 400 kids on the weekend. We talk about Jimmy Woods, Tom Davis, uh, Tack Henderson. Um, you talk about Kenny Brown. Um, you talk about golfers that played here during the 60s and 70s is not with us anymore. And these guys were scratch golfers. Evans' most famous player had to be Jimmy Woods. In his younger days, he wasn't even supposed to play, and his skin color kept him from playing on tour. Still, his passion and talent were incredible. The driving range here retains his name. Jimmy wasn't the type of person who was going to give you a golf lesson, but if you listen to Jimmy, he would talk about what he was going to do. You watch him practice. I had so much fun watching him play and watching him play with all the great players. I would get my lesson by watching him and watching Dick James, watching other pros play. Jimmy Woods wasn't the only notable to roam these hills. I first met Oscar Robinson here, uh, Joe Lewis, Joe Lewis' brother. 
I got chased around the clubhouse probably about 11 years of age when I looked at Bill Russell and I called him Wilk Chamberlain. Because we're close to downtown and there's so many athletes that come here and play and their friends come to play, like Dave Parker plays here on a regular basis. And Dave brought a lot of baseball players along here with him. A lot of the Cincinnati Bengals play here, Lewis Breeden, Isaac Curtis, uh, Icky Woods, Barney Bussey. Indeed, Ron has a deep history here as well, winning youth tournaments and holding out his drive on a par four. God knows Jimmy must have been with me because on hole number 15, which is a par four dog leg, and two different tournaments, I had a hole in one on the same hole twice. And he's done it twice. Unbelievable. If we keep going the direction that we're going in, it's going to be bigger and better than ever. Evan Fields has delighted and challenged golfers of all skills for a hundred years. Quite a feat, even for a golf course. And it's over 207 golf courses they can go to, but they all choose to come back here to play Avon. So we must be doing something right. Sure, it would be great to see some improvements, but we understand these are not the easiest of times. The clothes, the clubs, and even the balls have changed a lot over the last century. But one thing hasn't changed. The vibe of this historic, entertaining, sometimes frustrating golf course, and the great community of people who share it. The golf course looks like a country club today. Avon Fields, 100 year anniversary, love and great place to play. Beautiful course, beautiful people, and I will be back all the time. I loved it before they changed to fill in all the valleys. Yeah, it was a. Uh, it's always been a nice golf course. I tell you, this is one of the greatest places I've been as far as golf. Played here about five days a week most of the time. It's the best kept secret around. Come up and enjoy Evan Field. Always seem to meet a lot of nice people around here. So congratulations and look forward to a hundred more. Happy hundred, Evan, and here's to a hundred more.